What is going on everyone, welcome back to another video and today we have the Ender 3 printer from Creality and as you guys can see that unlike before with previous CR10 3D printers that this is mostly a put it together yourself type of printer. But do not worry we have a very nice manual right here that is very friendly and very colorful and looks very straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together and let you guys know how the assembly process goes. So let's get right into it. And if you're wondering why the change this time, well it actually makes sense because the box here is way smaller than before. Alright, so here's a quick look at the manual. Everything is nicely laid out, it's colored, and it looks very simple and straightforward. Much better than Ikea, that's for sure. And uh, here's the other page. So uh, again, just extremely well done. Like, I have never seen such clean and properly made manual on anything. So, so far so good. First of all, be careful when you're unpacking these guys. They come wrapped up just like the ones over here. And inside, you'll actually get a rod with a little tube inside of it. So make sure you don't drop this and break it or, or bend it or whatever. Just make sure that this is safe and out. Inside the bag itself, you'll get some zip ties. You'll get the nice little cutter that I really appreciate. And it is definitely one of my favorite things that comes with a 3D printer. And let's go ahead and take a look at the spatula because it's something that you're going to be using a whole lot. And previously with the CR10 spatulas, they were actually fantastic and I couldn't find something as good as them. So uh, the ones that I included before were pretty good. This one looks pretty good as well. So we're going to be giving it a try once we get to it. You also get two more baggies, uh, you get the tools right here, everything you'll need to mod and maintain the printer, and of course the needed screws to put together this whole top assembly part. And from the looks of it, you actually got some extra stuff. And moving over to the other baggie, we have a couple things. So we got more assembly parts, some extra parts, a micro SD card USB reader, the cleaning clogging needles. Be careful, don't poke yourself with this, and at the same time, don't lose it because you might need it at some point when your printer actually gets clogged. It's a long needle that will go inside the nozzle itself to uh, clear it out. A little bit of sample filament to test out the printer and get it working. And finally, what looks like some more parts for the assembly process. And here's the micro SD card USB reader. It's a nice mini little thing. And it is an 8GB Class 6 NetTech branded SD card. Here's the power supply. And lastly, the controller board that's going to sit in front of your printer. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it together. And if there's anything notable, I'll talk about it and show you guys a little clip of it. Let's go.
All right, we're finally done. I think uh, probably an hour later or so after recording and having a migraine and putting it together, we have finally finished. And overall, the building experience was actually fantastic. I had no issues whatsoever, except the part where I was putting the rod. I just took it out and put it manually. You'll figure it out, no worries over there. But overall, everything is straightforward. I didn't even have to read the manual for the actual cabling. Everything was actually cut precisely and uh, pretty straightforward if you ask me. And over here we have the extra screws and bags and this is what it should look like. Uh, I'd recommend having it in a layout like this, it would really help you. And uh, yeah, we have everything. We're gonna turn it on in just a bit, but one major improvement that this printer has that everyone has been waiting for, other than being just better overall, and that would be the footprint of the printer. As you can see, it is very small, very compact compared to other printers. And if we go ahead and compare it to the CR10 Mini, we can see that, uh, yeah, there's a pretty large difference. First of all, the actual frame is just pretty huge. Yes, it may have just a tiny bit bigger build plate, but in the end, it's not a whole lot. Even if we go ahead and leave aside this whole entire box right here, it still doesn't match up in terms of width. Maybe it does. But on the top of that, you have this box. It's going to be on the side. And then you have to actually leave some clearance. You can't just shove it in there. You have to leave some clearance for the actual roll to sit around unless you make your own spool holder like this one. So yeah, I'm done building it. And now all I have to do is to go ahead and power it up and wrap this video up until next time. Where I'll be printing stuff and showing you guys the build quality and print quality and seeing how it performs. All right, so it's plugged in and here we go. Let's go ahead and do a quick home test. All right, everything looking good so far. The sound you guys just heard uh, was actually because of the stopper. Uh, the bed tried to go all the way, but it didn't stop. There was no stop signal because the stop signal was not being triggered by that trigger right there. And that's because this piece was actually broken off either during shipping or when I was taking it out of the box. So be careful. I found this piece and I didn't know what it was for, but I did keep it just in case. Uh, now just had to put it back together and it should be good to go. All right, perfect. And now if we go ahead and do the auto home once more, it should work perfectly, hopefully. And that should be pretty much it. Uh, it seems like a success. Now all I have to do is calibrate my settings on my computer, get some file samples and print it out. And of course calibrate it. Now the nice thing is, is this time they actually included some proper adjustment styles because before you had these really harsh screws that were painful to actually unscrew and screw on and you had to use the screwdriver and all that stupid nonsense. So this time we have some very nice handles. They can easily rotate without much hassle and it should be pretty quick to calibrate and all that good stuff. And of course, they have ditched the glass beds, which I totally hate. Out of four printers that I had from the CR10 series, they were all warped and it took a bunch of time and hassle to get them flat and all that. But anyways, with all that being said, that is actually pretty much it for this video. So we've assembled it. And now all I have to do is to go ahead and try it out, print some stuff, which we'll be doing in the next video. So yeah, that's a size comparison. I'll leave the numbers in the description below and in this video of the uh, widths and uh, footprints. But yeah, that is all for this video, so thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.